so apparently my camera hates me because it wants to cut out like every time I'm recording. Um, I just finished that video by like with the other brush smudging my foundation the same way I did with the liquid one. Um, <coughs> then I would apply a brush off, like just like dab it there right where your cheekbone is, and a bronze off along them lines, or you can apply with just blush down the lines if you don't want to bronze off. Uh, make sure you smudge it in after, otherwise it can look quite silly to just attack your face after getting it applied, I guess. Um, <coughs> now, you can leave your lips like this and foundation up, or you can not. It's a personal preference. Uh, I'll show you with lip gloss what I can do, but I'm probably going to dab it off straight away because I can't stand the stuff and smoky. Or oh, lipstick. So. Squeeze and apply. There's a slight bit of colour there, but it leaves your lips still quite pale. I can't find the lid to that now. There it is. <coughs> I was saying my makeup bag like overflows. This is all like full with the foundation stuff in it as well, and that's what I'd use on a daily basis back when I tended to wear makeup. Um. <laughs> mm. ah. Don't like lip gloss. Oh yeah, it also helps to get the foundation off if you just want non coloured lips. You can just apply it and then take it straight off. Um. Okay, so I don't think I have any pencil eyeliners because they've run out and because I don't wear makeup. I don't really need one. So, I'm just going to demonstrate the first one brush what I would do with a pencil eyeliner. Uh, you still get your waterline and go along it. And do, 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 all along there. Um, I'll just use like a gel liner as an alternative today. I'm not going to do the same makeup as I previously did. I don't think I even have my gel liner. Oh my gosh. This video is not going well already. I don't. Wow, I should find these things. Next time I want to wear makeup, I'm screwed. Um, right, I've got this, which is almost out, but Collection 2000 Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. So, I'm going to do the sort of um, cat eye thing. But first, I always apply this number 7 Stay Perfect Smoothing Eyeshadow, and it's like. Supposedly a pink, I think. Uh, it sort of comes out nude on me. It's upside down, but yeah. You know what I mean. Um, so I just like... Put all over my eyes. And actually, I might just do one like eye for this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, and then smudge it out so it looks so it's less like I don't know so it doesn't just stick on just your actual eyelid and then I apply it again just to the eyelid nice and slowly trying to make it look neat I don't know like some cream eyeshadows are like but some I don't, so you can barely tell. So sort it of just highlights your eyes slightly. Um, if you don't have a white eyeshadow, which I don't with me, <laughs> I'll so put it paired. Just like apply a little bit on your inner eye and um, smudge. And because it's quite pale, it'll bring out your eyes slightly. Like always out of white eyeshadow, proper bring out your eyes. Okay, so apparently I'm still really pale, even with the makeup that normally makes me orange. Oh, my knee is just chilling out. I tend to sit like this. Um, <coughs> after that, styliner time. So hopefully this will work on me. It's almost out as well because of the whole not wearing makeup thing. I'll probably go to Lush and get some more liquid eyeliner and all this and pencil eyeliner online. So don't. I think Clush does pencil eyeliner. I've never seen any. So just 
swallow your upper eyelid. Cause yeah, you can see. I know I previously said I normally do the left eye first, I don't know why I'm doing the right eye first today. But hey, I am. Okay, make sure you sort of get right into the lashes. Because I've got eyeshadow on and mix it. It's a bit harder to tell because sometimes I get a bit on my lashes. Now, that's just completely the top of my eyelid. Now, I'm going to drag it out slightly. And just sort of follow the natural line. Just slightly. About there. This will also help your eyes look bigger. And take it down. And line your lower lid as well. You can just go straight onto the um, waterline. But for some reason that never works with me. So... I, like my waterline makeup always just comes straight off. I don't get how people can just apply it there. Is it just me? Has that happened to anyone else? Okay. Now well, that's that totally lined out. You can see my eye looks slightly bigger. Um, now. I'm gonna do a sort of extreme cat eye. I'm gonna take it really like like a really big one. Um I will do a tutorial on how I have my eyeliner on some pictures that <coughs> many people on like Palawingo, if you have me on there, have seen. Um <coughs> which I've advertised my account to a lot of people on there and I've spammed the hell out of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but so just Take it up, follow that line that is coming out of your eye. Because that's the best way to go with natural. I'm going to smooth that out first, slightly. Okay, follow that line. Making it big and dramatic today. And sort of draw a line until it comes equal to your eye and try and keep it as straight as possible. Also, you probably don't want to look up while doing any of this, because it will completely smudge the life out of your makeup. I've already made that mistake today, because I forgot. There's a slight smudge up. Up there. <laughs> now just fill that in. Also, with this foundation, I find it so much easier to tell that, like, how much I need to pluck my eyebrows. I think it's really bad at the minute. I don't know what my tweezers are. I'm gonna have to find that after this video. I really dislike having eyebrows. I probably will shave them off a third time soon. Now that's sort of a big dramatic eye makeup. Now, I don't have any false eyelashes, same reasons before, but they would work well with this. I'm just waiting for this to dry slightly before applying it. Yeah, I'm just going to do one eye because um, time, you know. Where's that lid? There it is. Let's go. Dry it out a little bit. Um. <coughs> My throat today is appalling. Um, also, you can, I might do this, take another eyeliner. This is Glam Eyes by Rimmel London Professional Liner. Um, and sort of just follow the lines along. This is almost run out because um, I use it for my Halloween makeup. Yeah, for Halloween I was a pop art doll. It was pretty cool. But kind of, no one knew what I was. So follow the line along with your coloured, preferably liquid liner, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, because it's running out, it's not working very well for me.
My laptop just went black again. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm scared it's going to cut out on me again. Alright, give up that. <laughs> Not working. Went out, but if you just follow that line, you can't really see on here. That's smudged. Just sort of take your finger and uh, or your nail. Move it along. If you've got sharp nails, it helps, I guess. I wouldn't really know. I've never had um, not sharp nails. Alright, uh, eyelash colours do help, but they don't really stay in place with mine, and you can, like, see here, I'm <laughs> out of place. Oopsies. It doesn't work amazingly. Like, you can't really tell, but <laughs> that's completely out of place. I should really fix that. Try and sort of hold it in the right place, but it doesn't really work. So, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to do it. <laughs> so, take your lashes in and hold for a few seconds. And then go up a bit. Oh, I've got it stuck to my eyelash. Hold a bit more. And then do that however as much as you want, holding it for as long as you want. I always look at my bottom lashes, I don't get why no one seems to do that. I like having both um, eyelash lines equally defined. So you've got to hold it at a really awkward angle. And the same thing, but I can never normally get like two little movements to go with that bit. Um, now I'm going to basically be using three different mascaras. So, um, first. I'm going to apply my Eyes Right Mascara, my actual vegan one from Lush, made by Caroline, as I stated in my previous, well, my first makeup video. Let me just quickly apply a little bit of that. Now with these, I feel it takes so many layers to actually get anywhere. And so that's why I tend to mix it with other mascaras. But it's also my only black one, and it's vegan. Vegan. Now my other's a brown black. This one I don't know where it's from. It just says curl on it. It's a uh, black slash brown. Not vegan. Mm. This one's got like a curling onto it, which is why I like this one. And just create like that. I remember when applying mascara, I sort of wiggle the wand like that, because it'll prevent. Clumping and such. No, your eyes will look better if you've got um, eyeshadow on the waterline as well. The false eyelashes look even more amazing. And as someone who likes both sets of lashes to look great, I'm going to apply a lot of mascara there as well. I can get why everyone has a thing for just their top lashes looking huge. Like, I don't want huge lashes, I want both sets of lashes to be huge. Uh, normally I'd apply loads of this, but it looks like it's running out. But, you can tell that my lashes are slightly longer, I guess. I can tell. Just the lighting's sort of pulling in my room, despite having an HD camera. I guess it's hard for you to tell. Now this one's L'Oreal Palace. Paris Palace uh, Telescopic Explosion Mascara in brown black. No, just in brown. Alright, um, the thing I don't like about this one is it's a really small, not one, this one's got a small one, but like application brush. And it's like with the other ones curled and stuff. So much nicer. So, you got to like, Make sure you get your whole eye, but in some ways it does make it in the corners easier. It's harder to wiggle it. Do, do, do. <coughs> and we catch flies, aren't I? Hey. I am an antichrist. And dip it back in and do the same for the, your lower lash line. Normally I'll apply like 
10 layers of mascara, but I can't be bothered for the purpose of this video. Because I'm going to wash my makeup straight off after. And have a nice little shower. Easy. Oh yeah, I've got the hat on to hide, like, move my hair away from my eyes. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so that's the third layer of mascara. I'd probably apply like four more of this because it's the most actually defining one out of three. But then after that one dries, I will apply the first one again. So quickly now, I'm going to show to you how to fill in your eyebrow if you want to do that. Whatever um, floats your boat. Uh, random vegan brush, not the one I normally use, but only one I can find that would be remotely appropriate. Just sort of follow your eyebrows. Okay, I tend to get a lot of makeup on my brush. It never seems to last me long. I don't know, do I use too much makeup? <laughs> you tell me. I'm shocked my camera hasn't cut out again yet. Quite happy it hasn't though, because I don't have to upload a third video in one night. Which I probably will. I'll get bored later. There's nothing to do at like... When the moon's out by yourself every day. No, I'm doing this with black makeup, because I prefer that. But you can do it with brown. Can you tell the difference? I think you can. It looks as gappy, like, look at that. You can see the gaps in my eyebrow. I hate them. Okay, <laughs> now just the final layer of this mascara again. Remembering I would have applied like 10 more in between. Just get your eyes nice and fully voluptuous. But I'll apply this first because it's like protection for your lashes in a way, I guess, because it's so much better for them. If you're applying a different mascara on top, it's more attacking this mascara instead of your lashes. And then I apply it last because it's my only black one, so that's why I do that. Okay. So that is the finished product. Imagine I've got it on this side of my face as well. Just look at that. So that's a bit different uh, to my previous one. I don't. Like, I've never tended to wear my makeup like this. I'm not sure why. But, um, quite dramatic cat eye. It counts as a cat eye. It's a flick at least. With a little drag in to make your eye appear a little bit bigger. Um, okay, so. <sighs> notifications. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any video recommendations, then throw them at me. I will do whatever you want, I promise. And I'll do whatever you want. I'm going to try and make more at the minute. Hence why I've uploaded a few in the past few days. There's going to be more coming. Cause Monday today, should be getting my dress looks tomorrow. Oh my god. I need to go crocheting again. I'm going to make a video for how to do each different type. So like, the back coming method. Uh, twist and rip, or rip and twist. Um, <laughs> and, and a crochet needle, uh, crochet, crochet needle and a mix, because, like with the full head, I want to personally be able to decide what comes out best, so I have a preference for later on, because I will be doing my whole head. I think I'm probably going to end up calling my friend Chloe. And be like, help me, I'll show you how to do it, please. Because it hurts, like, even though I've got mohawk. My hair is, like, pretty much naturally dreading at the minute, like, you can see how dead it is. Like, it's still not cool. But yeah, I went off topic. <laughs> Thank you all, I love you so much. Mwah.